Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So what does Gunman do when everyone else is sitting at home on their long weekend? He comes into his workshop and paints with his awesome DNA custom paints. So as you can see there, I'm starting off, I'm going to be painting a few picture frames in this video. I'm going to be taking you guys right through every single frame that I do and I'm going to do three separate ones in three different of these colours. Um, so I've got that DNA flakes, holographic flakes. So I'm just going over a black base of the picture frame. Um, you see me there, I'm mixing just a bit of um, clear base coat, just base coat binder. And um, look, I could be doing it wrong, but I don't think I am. I mean, the way I say it with custom paints, you are the master. It's up to you what you want to do, the way I say it. I don't see there as being, there is right and wrong, but as far as I can see, I'm doing something that looks pretty awesome. And um, yeah, so I'm just um, guessing how much I need to put in there. I'm actually going to the course um, next week. So I'll be doing the training course up there in Melbourne. I'm booked in, I've got a two day course, I can't wait and I'm going to learn a bit more about their products and how to use them correctly. Now, I'll make a mention, this is plastic part, but being that what it is, it's a picture frame, it's not going to get chipped or scratched or anything like that, so I decided, I'm not even putting any plastic primer down, I'm just going to go straight on with the um, with that colour that you see. And I thought the black provides a good uh, ground coat as well, a good something of a base colour. Um, if it was, if this was say, you know, something else like a motorbike helmet, it had some sanding scratches, and I might want to paint the whole th whole thing black first, or whatever colour. As I say, custom painting, up to you what you want to do with it. So the spray gun I'm using, it's the Star Evo T mini gun, 1.2 mil uh, fluid tip on it. I'm really happy with the way this gun's been going. I might actually do a dedicated review just on this gun in the future. Um, a few of my subscribers or common followers have probably seen the recent review that I did on the Star S4000, and that'll be up there with one of the worst guns I've ever used. Um, total waste of money. However, this gun here, great results. It was a reasonable price, and um, some of the other mini guns on the market, I believe, are totally overpriced. Um, this is definitely a good option. Um, I picked this one up for yeah $120. I found them on eBay for about $180. I'm pretty sure that the guy I bought it off being um, Jeff from Park Automotives here in Perth. I think he just did me a good deal because um, yeah he likes me I guess. And as you can see there, I've just given it two coats of that that's, um, of the uh, holographic flakes, and I decided that's all it needed. I've then mixed up some DNA Diamond Clear. HS clear at a 2 to 1 ratio by volume, so 2 parts clear, 1 part hardener, and then 15% reduce I have found is probably the best amount, even up to 20% with this clear. But um, as I say, I'm going up to do their training course next week and I'll get some more info and I'm going to be doing loads more um, painting videos with the uh, DNA products in the future. I'd like you guys to even just give me some ideas of stuff to paint, like if you you know, if you're painting a push bike or something like that, let me know. I've got a push bike sitting out the back, and if people want to see that kind of stuff, well, then I'll I'll make videos on it. Um, yeah, you always I'm always welcome to suggestions on improving my videos, and I do take a lot of time and effort into making these vids. So I do, um, yeah, really like it when you hit the thumbs up button. So there you go. Um, that's our first coat of clear. I did go around and give it another coat of clear after I let that dry down. Probably a good 15 minutes because um, because of the size of the flakes, basically at 200 microns, um, it might look like, oh man, you got heaps of stuff in your clear, heaps of junk in there. It's not stuff, it's just the size of the actual flake itself. They're quite big. Um, yeah, I might even get some new tips on getting rid of that. Maybe it, it probably just loading it up with clear and sanding it back and more clear if you're looking for sort of um, perfect results but there you go there's a bit of a look at the gun nice and framed up there and next up I'm going to be painting another frame I'm going to put some um, silver base coat down first on these other two frames and put some um, flakes over the top of the silver something to give it um, stand up really nice and then also some glow uh, I've got some glow powder there that I'm going to put on this one as well um, and the one behind me, I'm just going to use the um, silver flakes, 200 micron flakes. So, same thing, just gave it a bit of a tack rag down, no prep work required. Um, I'm not spending too much time on this kind of thing, I'm not getting overboard with it, I'm just having a bit of fun on my day off. Um, 
I don't know what the religious people would think of me working on Good Friday, but I'm not religious, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, and again, I'm just mixing that clear base coat binder. Um, and look, I would I would imagine that most of them are pretty safe to use with most of these powders. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, the specific company is going to turn around and say, oh, you have to use ours or else we won't worry it. And that's cool, but... In the real world, I'm sure just about any base coat binder would do the job just fine. I've found most of them are pretty compatible. Um, I just decided also not to filter that as well, because I thought, well, my um, filters are 190 microns, and this is a 200 micron uh, flake, so I thought, well, I'm going to be left with nothing in the gun if I do that. So that's why you would have noticed that I didn't uh, use a paint strainer there. Um, I also made sure there was no um, paint strainer in the gun itself. Um, they've got such a wide range of custom paints this DNA. Um, look, they've got like stuff that you actually spray on dry. Um, yeah, yet to know how they exactly do it, but they'd probably spray a clear, clear coat down and then spray the flakes dry on in these big guns that you know you wouldn't fit the flakes out in a normal spray gun. So all interesting stuff to look forward to. And on this one here, I've just given it a um, just two coats again. I don't. It looks awesome, you know. Um, yeah, I also did a bit of playing around with some airbrushing recently. I did these water water droplets on a bench that you might see in my um, uh, office at the end of this video too. I was just having a bit of fun as well. So that, that one there is ready for some clear coat. And I've decided on that one in the middle. I'm going to be mixing up some of this uh, glow powder. I don't know why, I've got something about glow powder, I think it's awesome, glow paint, I don't know, maybe it's the kid in me, but I just think it's um, a bit of fun, you know, I'd love to see a whole car painted in something like this, or maybe do some like ghosting flame effects with some of the ghost uh, glow powder or something like that, it would look pretty cool. Um, you can even hear that on the um, video there, it's very gritty. Now, it's much better than this other glow powder I got a little while back. Um, I found it on eBay. It was pretty cheap. I got, I think it was for 400 grams, about $80 delivered. So it wasn't too bad, but it was basically just, you had to use my primer gun, like 1.8 to get it on. And just very gritty. Um, I mean, this is very similar, but just not quite as gritty. So I've obviously put it through a finer um, refining pro process for it. And yeah, I'm just smashing it on, basically. I ended up coming back, um, reason I put my fingers in the little spoon had broken off, but um, I just put heaps on there. I used it all up and I'm like, you know what? I want more, I want more glow out of it. So came back and um, just mixed the touch more up, put it in the gun and sprayed it over. Um, probably be pretty careful to get it on nice and even. Um, this part here is not perfectly even, a little bit probably where I've double overlapped on the edges. Um, you'll be able to see if you hang around for a few minutes, it's actually um, a little, glows a little bit more in those patches where I've um, doubled up, but not to worry, I'm not too fast. Uh, they are just picture frames after all, so yeah, they came up pretty mean. I reckon they really look awesome in my office there. Um, yeah, so I'll make a quick mention, if anyone um, hasn't already started following me on Instagram, I've been posting heaps of stuff over there. My mobile phone, for some reason, it just jumbles up my photos, so I haven't been uploading as much onto Facebook. I've just been smashing out heaps of Instagram photos, I'm getting quite a good following. So if you don't already have an Instagram account, I do recommend signing up, and there is a great world of spray painting. There's so many people on Instagram, I mean, not just it's not just about me, I mean, it's just great, like, I'm, I'm really having great fun on Instagram, just following other people and the paint work they've been doing, and I, I think it's really good fun on there. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've had that guy that's been, like, dissing all my videos and stuff like that, like, he'll log in and give me about, you know, 140 dislikes I logged in, and I, my dislike count went from about... Um, one to three up to like 140 in one day this guy called Frenchman called Michael Balfanus he's got a YouTube channel called Psycho Paint Customs and apart from this guy I've actually found that the network on spray painting on YouTube on just about all social media it's very uh, positive like 
people don't usually go around disliking and bagging people out. It's more positive stuff. Um, I mean, you know, there's other great channels out there, like Refinish Network. He does some awesome work. You've got um, so many good channels out there, and you know, I'm I'm not pfft, I'm not against anyone having a go at making some YouTube videos, but. Um, this Frenchman has obviously got the wrong idea on what to do, um, but hey, that's his uh, prerogative. And at the end of the day, we have a bit of a um, theory that any feedback is good feedback. So his dislikes probably actually help out anyway. So here you go. That's uh, just with the um, light off in the spray booth. It's not glowing quite as much at this point, but once I put it into my glow room, I call it, otherwise known as the toilet, with the door closed, um, yeah, you can see it's got a nice glow to it. If I really wanted to get um, get a bit more glow out of it, I could have smashed another real heavy coat over it. So, um, yeah, you can see it's got a little bit of um, sparkle in it too because I put some of that um, the flakes in there too. So, hey, something, bit of fun. Um, and there you go. There's my trade certificate framed up and the other two were actually still drying so I didn't get any actual footage of that for this video. So I didn't want to go and handle them and they were still a touch wet. And, um, yeah, I had fun doing it, and this is what the gunman does on his day off. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video, and be sure to check me out on all my social media. There's links in the um, comments, sorry, in the description of each one of my videos, and I've got my own website. If you do stumble across that, uh, forgive me for now. It's just a work in progress, and I'm doing my best to get it up and running to a really nice website for you guys, so... Thought I'd give you guys a quick look at the water effects that I was playing around with the day prior to this. And um, there you guys go. I had a bit of fun. I hope you guys had a bit of fun watching. Stay tuned for loads more custom painting videos. Thanks for watching. And this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.